In the ever-changing world of modern aerial combat, there are few machines that capture both the imagination of the public and the deep attention of defense analysts like the Chengdu J-10C. As we enter 2025, this Chinese fighter jet stands as one of the most advanced non-stealth platforms ever produced by the People's Liberation Army Air Force, combining indigenous engineering, modern avionics, and lethal weaponry in a package that has reshaped regional power balances. But what makes the J-10C more than just another upgrade in China's fighter fleet? To answer that question, we must peel back the layers of design philosophy, cutting-edge systems, and operational doctrines that surround it. From its aerodynamic structure inspired by some of the world's most iconic fighter jets, to the stealth features hidden in plain sight, to its deadly arsenal of beyond-visual-range missiles, the J-10C is more than just a plane, it is a statement of intent. This is not just a tool of war, but a symbol of China's rise as a global military power. And as we explore its specifications and capabilities in detail, you may find yourself wondering, could this so-called vigorous dragon really challenge some of the most formidable aircraft fielded by NATO? Stay with me until the end, because the answer might surprise you. The very first thing one notices about the J-10C is its striking canard delta wing configuration, a design choice that sets it apart visually from most Western fighters. This arrangement is not just about aesthetics, it allows the jet to achieve remarkable levels of agility, granting it an edge in close quarters dogfighting where split-second maneuverability decides survival. The aerodynamic philosophy behind the J-10C borrows from a long lineage of combat aircraft, yet it is uniquely optimized for the operational environment of the PLAF. By incorporating composite materials in its structure, China has reduced weight while increasing durability, ensuring that the aircraft can withstand high G-stresses without compromising performance. What is equally impressive is the subtle attention paid to radar cross-section reduction, even though the J-10C is not marketed as a full stealth fighter. Angled air intakes, radar absorbent materials, and minimized external protrusions help it remain less visible to enemy radar compared to its predecessors. In essence, the J-10C embodies a hybrid philosophy, not fully stealth like the F-35 or J-20, but stealthier and deadlier than any earlier generation fighter China has deployed. This delicate balance between maneuverability, survivability, and reduced signature is what makes analysts label it a true 4.5 generation jet, sitting at the threshold between legacy fighters and the elusive world of fifth generation platforms. While the airframe provides the foundation, what truly elevates the J-10C into the realm of modernity is its avionic suite. At the heart of this system lies the active electronically scanned array, ASA, radar, a technological leap that gives the aircraft the ability to simultaneously track, identify, and engage multiple targets across a wide spectrum. Unlike traditional mechanically scanned radars, the AESA grants faster detection, greater resistance to jamming, and the ability to perform advanced tasks like electronic warfare and ground mapping without sacrificing its air-to-air -air combat role. This radar is paired with an infrared search and track IRST, system, a passive sensor that detects the heat signatures of enemy aircraft, even stealth aircraft that are designed to evade radar detection. Together, these systems create a multi-layered detection capability that few adversaries can easily counter. Inside the cockpit, the pilot is greeted by a glass interface dominated by large multifunction displays and supported by a helmet-mounted display, HMD. This allows for look-and-shoot capability, where the pilot can lock onto a target simply by looking at it through the helmet visor, dramatically reducing reaction times in combat. The integration of data link systems further enhances the jet's lethality, enabling it to share information with other aircraft, ground stations, and even naval platforms, transforming the J-10C from a single jet into a node within a broader, network-centric battlefield. Beneath the sleek frame of the J-10C lies the powerhouse that enables its speed, climb, and endurance. Earlier versions of the J-10 relied heavily on Russian-supplied AL-31 FN engines, but by 2025, most J-10CS are powered by China's domestically produced WS-10B Taihang turbofan. This shift represents more than just a logistical improvement, it is a symbol of China's technological independence in an area where it once lagged behind. The WS-10B provides thrust levels sufficient for the jet to achieve speeds of Mach 2, with a service ceiling exceeding 18,000 meters. More importantly, its thrust-to-weight ratio, combined with the canard delta configuration, gives the J-10C superb acceleration and tight turn performance, making it a fearsome opponent in a dogfight. 
Supermaneuverability is further enhanced through digital fly-by-wire systems that allow for razor-sharp control even under extreme aerodynamic conditions. Critics once doubted whether China could produce an engine reliable enough for frontline service, but the operational record of the WS-10B in recent years has begun to silence skeptics. In performance terms, the J-10C stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with fighters like the F-16V, Eurofighter Typhoon, and even Russia's Su-35 in certain envelopes, a fact that underscores just how far Chinese aerospace engineering has come in just two decades. All the sensors, speed, and agility in the world would mean little if not paired with a deadly arsenal, and the J-10C is more than equipped in this regard. Its primary air-to-air -air weapons include the PL-10 short-range missile and the PL-15 Beyond Visual Range Missile, both of which are game-changers in their own right. The PL-10, often compared to the American AIM-9X Sidewinder, is highly maneuverable and integrates seamlessly with the HMD system, making it a lethal dogfight weapon. The PL-15, on the other hand, is where things become truly alarming for adversaries. With an estimated range exceeding 200 kilometers and an active radar seeker that resists jamming, the PL-15 has been described by analysts as a silver bullet capable of challenging even advanced aircraft like the F-22 Raptor. Beyond these, the J-10C can also carry precision-guided bombs, anti-ship missiles, and ground-attack munitions, giving it a multi-role flexibility that few fighters in its class can match. What makes this loadout even more effective is the jet's ability to operate within China's integrated air defense network, receiving targeting data from AWACS platforms and satellites, allowing the J-10C to engage targets it cannot even see with its own sensors. This combination of long-range firepower and network-enabled warfare is what has led some Western analysts to warn that underestimating the J-10C would be a grave mistake. The significance of the J-10C is not confined to China's borders. Its export to Pakistan under the name J-10CE has already demonstrated its role as a tool of diplomacy and power projection. For Pakistan, acquiring the J-10C provides a direct counterbalance to India's Rafale fleet, instantly shifting the dynamics of South Asian aerial competition. More broadly, the J-10C is a showcase of China's ability to produce advanced fighters not just for domestic use, but for the global arms market, challenging Western dominance in this lucrative field. The affordability of the J-10C compared to Western fighters like the F-35 or Eurofighter makes it an attractive option for countries seeking modern air power without breaking their defense budgets. This has broader implications for geopolitics, as nations that adopt Chinese fighters become more integrated into Beijing's sphere of influence, receiving not just aircraft but also training, maintenance, and access to Chinese weapon systems. By 2025, the J-10C is no longer seen as a copycat aircraft derived from foreign designs but as a symbol of China's independent aerospace innovation. Its presence in the arsenals of other nations amplifies its global footprint, making it a jet whose importance transcends technical specifications and enters the realm of geopolitics. When all these elements are put together, the advanced avionics, the powerful engine, the versatile weapons, the stealth-conscious design, and the growing global impact, the J-10C emerges as far more than just a fighter jet. It is a bridge between generations, a machine that embodies China's transition from an imitator to an innovator in military aviation. But perhaps the most compelling aspect of the J-10C is what it represents about the future of air combat. In an era where fifth-generation fighters like the F-35 and J-20 dominate headlines, the J-10C shows that a well-designed 4.5-generation aircraft, armed with cutting-edge missiles and integrated into a sophisticated network, can still pose a formidable challenge on the battlefield. It forces us to rethink assumptions about what truly defines aerial superiority. And so, as we look at this vigorous dragon soaring through the skies of 2025, the question becomes, is this jet simply a stopgap until China fields more J-20s and 6th generation aircraft, or is it destined to play a central role in shaping the air wars of the coming decade? I want to hear your thoughts, do you believe the J-10C could hold its own against Western fighters like the F-35 or Typhoon, or is it still a step behind? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the technology shaping the battles of tomorrow.